I'm Chef Mark Forgione. Today I'm in Manhattan's Meatpacking District visiting the new Samsung 837 for Bon Appetit. It's a creative space where you can interact with art, try out virtual reality, and get a glimpse of the future. Like a fridge that lets you check that you have all your ingredients before you get started. They've stocked the Samsung family hub with food and challenged me to make something special for Cook Like a Pro. Today we're gonna make spicy tuna tartare on avocado toast. So one of the coolest things about the family hub is it actually has a flex zone that you can set to any temperature you want, whether it's for wine or cheese. Today for the tuna tartare, I've set it to the perfect temperature for my fish. We've all had tuna tartare before. And if you can get really fresh fish, it's one of the easiest things to prepare for your family or friends coming over. What you're looking for is a really nice rosy color. You don't want too much sinew. You want to get it from the center cut. And what we're going to do here is just cut it into big cubes so that when we cut it up later in the grinder, it can fit there and, and come out seamlessly. So whenever you're putting any kind of meat through a grinder, you always want everything to be as cold as possible. So I've already got a bowl waiting for me in the freezer. And not just the protein, but you also want to have the grinder as cold as possible too. Put this with the tuna and the bowl in the freezer while we get everything else going. So now we're gonna set a timer for 10 minutes so that the tuna doesn't get so cold. We just want it chilled, not frozen. So while the tuna is chilling out in the freezer, we're gonna get started on the sriracha and the avocado toast. My favorite peppers to use to make the sriracha are Fresno chilies, which are essentially just red jalapenos. The Fresnos give it the beautiful signature color that we're all used to seeing sriracha. All right, we're gonna chop up a few cloves of garlic. You literally just scoop it all up and you're gonna put it into the blender. So then we're gonna take a little bit of brown sugar, some vinegar, and you're just gonna puree it until everything gets mixed up. So once you've got it all blended, you know, you're kind of looking for almost something that looks like a salsa. And then at this point, we're gonna transfer it to a glass jar. You're just gonna wait about a week to 10 days, depending on the temperature. And I like to use cheesecloth, but I do employ you every day to just unwrap the thing and give it a stir with a spoon. All right, and now let's do the avocado. Uh, you wanna have a nice soft texture, but also firm at the same time, kind of like a relationship, I guess. And spin the avocado, don't move the knife. Very important process. A little chef trick, we use the base of the knife, twist, and it pops right off. You line up the avocados, you just go straight down the middle. So you wanna get a grill plate, and you're just gonna put this over a glass bowl, set the avocado right on top, just push it through, and boom. You have perfectly diced avocado. The reason that I like to use this method with the avocado is I don't want it to be like a puree. I want it to be chunky so that you still have a little texture at the end of the dish. You take a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of salt, squeeze of lime. Again, you can add as much as you like. Just give it a quick mix and set it aside. All right, so now that the timer's gone off, that means it's time to take out the tuna. And it's gotten to the exact temperature that we want. Ice cold, but still soft to the touch. And it's ready to go through the grinder. And if you don't have a grinder at home, you can always dice this. The reason I like to use the grinder is I actually wait for my guests to show up and I'll grind it in front of them. Everybody's had tuna tartare, but I don't think too many people have seen the tuna actually go through a meat grinder right in front of them. All right, so now that we've got our beautiful tuna, we're gonna take a little bit of this smoky olive oil. We just take some really good extra virgin olive oil and we hot smoke it for about a half hour, 45 minutes. You have olive oil that kind of smells like a campfire and tastes almost like grilled meat. We're gonna take a little bit of that shallot, a little bit of salt, and you don't wanna overwork it. You still wanna have some texture and you wanna taste that beautiful tuna. Now at this point, it's really just time to assemble. So we're gonna take one of my favorite breads to eat. This is a seven grain toast. We're gonna to spread the avocado on. And again, we don't wanna smash it. We just wanna kind of make perfect rectangles. Just a touch of sriracha. At this point, it's up to you. Extra spicy, a little spicy and just spread it on nice, nice. And then this is the fun part. You're just gonna take the chives and sprinkle them all over the place. Take a little bit of finishing salt. You lift it up off and put it onto your serving platter. And now you've just got the top completely covered with the chives. Garnish with a little lime. And this is probably the cutest little bottle of sriracha you're ever gonna see in your life. And that's it. Now you're serving spicy tuna tartare with avocado toast that I guarantee you, anybody at your house has never eaten it this way before. I'm Chef Mark Forgione for Bon Appetit.